Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking with a video that I've actually had in the back burner for a while and recently I got another rifle to make it worth doing now. Tactical versus hunting. I'm sure you guys can tell the difference right away, which is which. Uh, of all the three guns shown in this video, all of them are 6.5 Creedmoor. So just because it's 6.5 Creedmoor bolt gun, they, uh, they have different purposes. They go about getting the bullet where they need to be uh, different ways because they might need to be on different targets. Um, but anyway, this is obviously the hunting rifle. This is the tactical bench rest rifle. And I'll talk about more of the setups uh, specifically, but real quickly, let's put a rifle in the middle here, talk about the hybrid. And there she is. So this is in fact my hybrid rifle that can do both. Um, it's not best at either one, but it is a rifle that can certainly do both between hunting and long range shooting. Now, technically, yes, you can shoot long range with this rifle and you can hunt with this one. So I'm not taking that away from them, but certainly there are certain components that I'll kind of run through real quickly. And then for the most part, we're just going to do some shooting at eh, decent range. If you guys are subscribed, you already know the ranges we're going to do about 455 and maybe we'll do just under 700 yards. This is my brand new gun. Only shot it for the first time recently, just decided in and dang, it's a sweet rifle. Okay. So this is the Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge. I've known about Bergara. I do like them, but this is the first I've owned. Uh, thus to say that this is the first one, or first I've uh, featured on the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, B14 Wilderness Ridge, very, very cool. And my gosh, for the price, it is fantastic. I actually fed it from the internal magazine. Feeds super slick. You guys will see that on camera pretty soon here. Bolt is just super, super nice. Uh, trigger is crazy lightweight. And the whole thing as a setup goes is just awesome. This is the Weatherby Mark V Carbon Mark Elite. Um, yeah, this thing is quite a beauty. So not only carbon fiber composite stock, we've got carbon fiber on the barrel here. The thing does not weigh much at all. And then of course the tactical slash bench rest rifle here, you guys have seen if you're subscribed, this is my Alamo Precision Rifles or APR Ranger. Um, this is a 24 inch Sendero Contour barrel, Greybow Renegade stock, um, true Remington 700 action overall, very, very neat. Okay, so those are the rifles. Let's get a little bit into the specs and kind of what to look for when kind of getting a rifle between hunting, tactical, and then of course the hybrid right here and kind of why it's so good being a hybrid. First thing I'd point out is the barrel length. Um, they're not too far from each other. This one right here is a 22, also 22, and then that's a 24. Uh, so the barrel is a very heavy part of the rifle. I would say the big thing about hunting rifle versus tactical would be, in a word, weight. Um, and the barrel is certainly some to blame with that. Longer barrel means more velocity, more velocity means more range. So when you're shooting from well over a thousand yards, um, you know, you're, you're obviously gonna want some velocity. So two inches difference with these, but that's not representing all bench rest rifles and all hunting rifles. That's just what we have here. As I've said previously already, barrel contour, that's the Sendero contour. I'm not sure what these are. I could just tell you they're just a wee bit thinner. Um, you guys can see just the difference on these two, what are technically hunting rifles. Look at the difference in the barrels there. So this one's a much thinner barrel. Again, they're all chambered in the same round. Thinner barrel, much, much lighter. So why not have a thinner barrel all the time? Well, the problem is gonna be heat. Uh, so yeah, you're saving weight by getting such a thinner barrel compared to obviously that in the Sendero. Look how much thicker that is. Um, same caliber. This one can shoot a quicker strings of fire uh, from a mag. That's another difference, but you can shoot longer before you start worrying about heat. Once the barrel gets really, really cooked up and toasted, um, you're gonna start stringing your shots off and it's just not gonna be as consistent. When you're dealing with you know magazine fed, uh, quick strings of fire versus a hunting rifle, this is made to be lightweight. You string it around your back and then you, uh, you go on a long hike possibly, and then you get one, ideally one shot on your target. It's a hunting rifle. Um, so that's about it. It doesn't need to shoot quick strings of fire. When we start talking about this rifle here, it takes in consideration the weight, obviously, if you guys can just see that being carbon fiber, um, but you get a thicker barrel contour. This one right here is definitely going to be able to shoot faster and more shots and still hold a good group uh, longer than that one. Best though, should still be this right here, the Alamo Precision Rifles. Of course, that comes at a penalty being weight. Uh, I guess when you're kind of putting a rifle together, you first think about your purpose and then you think, does weight matter? It's a yes or a no. I don't really uh, get a kind of maybe answer myself. Maybe you guys do, but I mean, this was a hard no on weight. That's why this thing, as you see it, without a suppressor and the optics to blame for it, like I said, I'll get into that in a little bit, is just under 16 pounds versus this right here, uh, as I weighed it with this optics setup is just about a little, just a hair over nine pounds. 
and this is barely over a pound less than this one. This is the lightest of the whole bunch, which is pretty stellar. Comes at an actual price though, not in weight, uh, actual, you know. Real quickly, I'll touch on price point here. Uh, typically, this isn't always the case. There are really good values and very premier products on all ends. Um, typically, a hunting rifle will be less, and typically, a custom long-range rifle will be the most expensive, and hybrids are kind of all over the place. As it goes, this, uh, just like I said, quick impressions with it, off camera, just sighting it in, this one shocked me. This one is super, super great. Like I said, action and everything. Um, and this one's a thousand bucks. And uh, I'm curious to see how it's gonna do at some range here because it is feeling great. It's about a thousand bucks. Um, at the time, this one right here before optics uh, came together for just a little over 2,200 bucks or so. I have to kind of go back to my older video. Maybe 22, maybe 2,300 bucks for this one. Considering what it is, ain't too bad. All right, then this one. Um, you don't have to get a hybrid rifle to this extent. This one's lighter than all these. It's just as accurate nearly as this one to a certain extent. Um, the, the thing's absolutely crazy. Um, if you configured it just like this, you'll be just north of $3,500. Yeah, uh, big ouch, but uh, it is a sweet rifle. So, uh, you know, take that for what you will. I like it. And for how much I love to geek over optics, uh, I'm just gonna make this really, really briefly. Pretty much when you're dealing with something that's going to be on a bench rifle, it can afford to be heavier, so then you can afford to get more features. I'm not gonna run through all of them, but just to tell you a couple of them real quickly, um, we're talking about reticle, whether it's on the first focal plane or the second focal plane, your tube diameter size, your objective lens diameter size, uh, we've got your turret features, um, overall kind of like locking turrets, which this one right here has. Uh, let's see here. You're also, your zero stop, zero reset, illumination. You can just go through and through. Uh, pretty much everything I had said for the most part, this one right here, um, this right here is a five to 25 by 56 zoom range with the objective lens being 56. Um, you've got really, really cool turrets with like a little changing window patented system. This is a Steiner T5 XI. Very, very cool. This right here, I thought this would be the perfect optic, and I was right. Uh, this is the Vortex Razor LHT, light hunting tactical, because it's light hunting and kind of tactical. So it's a hybrid optic for a hybrid rifle. Um, this one's in mills. They come in LO, uh, MOA as well. You've got a um, capped windage uh, knob here, an exposed elevation with a locking feature, very nice clicks. You got a little bit of illumination actually, that center dot, so that ain't bad at all. Once I got some experience with this one, I could never go to a dedicated hunting optic, and that's why I literally just doubled it, and that's on the Bergara. All right, now I realize that this is probably a pretty extended uh, part of the video. Um, I tried to make that brief, but there's just quite a bit of cover, and even then, that was incredibly surface level. So I don't want anyone nagging and saying, oh, you didn't talk about this or that or whatever. Uh, again, Weatherby, uh, has made tactical rifles before. I really like their hybrid setup. They also make dedicated hunting only stuff. Same with Bergara, they make tactical stuff. They also make hunting stuff. Elmo Precision Rifles, same thing. So this is just what I happen to have here. Now today, we're gonna be shooting 455, and like I said, probably just about uh, 686. All same ammunition, we're gonna be using the 6.5 Creedmoor from Hornady, this is the American Gunner line, 140 grain Botel hollow point. Pretty economically priced, but man, it performs pretty well. All right, literally just sighted this thing in, so first time shooting it at some kind of range here. Got the camera in at uh, 455. Looked a little high. Check out this action though. I look dead center. Yeah. This thing is uh, a sweetheart to shoot. Uh, it's actually pretty light recoil because that muzzle brake up front. Uh, but for the weight of it, it's actually really, really tame. All right, same optic, so seems pretty familiar. We're losing a little over a pound of weight now that we're on this setup here. It's only a 6.5, but this thing moves a lot. I'm only at uh, just under eight power, and I'm bracing just to make sure I'm still on target. That's how light this thing is, it's crazy. Crazy accurate though. Just look how smooth this is. 
so, so good. I'll be honest, I feel like my shooting is not that good. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place as far as like how steady I'm holding. This gun's just so lightweight, it's easy to flinch on, or not flinch, but just shake it around. But um, it's landing, man, this thing is really good. And I mentioned I love this thing, man. Wow, all right, let's go ahead and do that APR at 455. 2.2 seems to be okay right now. Back to the Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge. This thing sits down surprisingly well. Um, 15 power here, pull the trigger, and I'm still right on target, so that muzzle brake does a good job. This thing is surprisingly just a really flat shooter. I'm just talking about recoil impulse. Let's go ahead and internally load up three shots. If I get three for three, I will be happy and we'll move on. But for a hunting rifle, uh, man, Bergara makes some guns. This is my first taste with one and man, so happy. What a gun, man. Yeah, I'm digging that a lot. Pretty darn impressive. Very, very slick action, very nice trigger for about a thousand bucks right now. I dig it. All right, let's move on. Such a sweet sound. So that's one of the things, guys, uh, to take into consideration as far as weight. This thing is so lightweight, it can throw itself off target pretty quickly. So I, I'm at about, uh, about 12 power uh, right now, whereas on this next rifle, uh, I put a 25 power on there. Right here, I could be at 25 if I want, even though it's unnecessary, just because the thing's so heavy and it just sits down. Uh, but yeah, to consider this thing shoots that good, as you just saw, and it weighs nothing, I, I love this thing. Uh, I told you guys I'd show it off plenty of times. It's now the third or fourth time. Um, expect to see more with it. Uh, yeah, whether it be Mark V, Carbon Mark Elite. Pretty darn sweet. But let's go ahead and go to the APR. I know this gun the best. I have the most rounds with it from the three presented today. Um, you know, bolt actions are already my favorite, but I thought in this video, I'd just kind of show two different contrasting guns and then I threw the hybrid in there, that Weatherby I love too. Uh, but this is my kind of style, guys. Just kind of sitting uh, bench rest or better the truck. Uh, yeah, 
No, I really dig this setup. Hopefully this kind of sheds some light onto the subject, but that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Take care.